The people who farm this small grain have a big influence on Thailand. Before the coup, rice farmers like Puan Pet Kamwangsa were an important support base for the government. Its guaranteed price of rice was designed to lock in that support. But as the program began failing last year, farmers weren't getting paid. They started backing away from the government. When the military took over, it recognized farmers' political influence and made paying them a top priority. Money started flowing just four days after the coup. I'm happy that I finally got my money because I'd been waiting for six months. The debtors came knocking at my door, and I had to tell them to wait. The military coming in is kind of good, or else we would not get paid easily. But to make ends meet, when Puang Pet is not in the fields, she still needs to clean houses. Now that the above market pricing for the failed rice scheme is over, export numbers for Thai rice have been revised up 20 percent. That means the price of Thai rice on the global market is lower, once again making it competitive. But there are still huge stockpiles caused by the subsidy program's inflated prices. They will need to be sold off by the government at competitive prices without manipulation, say experts. It's not the best news for the farmers. In the short term, the farmers may have to take a hit. In the long term, this is where the government can help by letting the price on the market work out on its own. And while it does that, Kamun believes Thailand can return to its spot as the top rice exporter in the world, it slid to number two. But for now, even with some money in hand, Pong Pet is still worried. She says that with the lower prices, she can't afford to run her farm. But even if it gets really bad, she'll still work the land. I will not quit rice farming. If the price is really low, I will just grow rice for my family to eat and sell the surplus for investment in the next crop. But how much that next crop will pay her will be driven more by the market and less by politics. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Chiang Mai, Thailand.